The time of the last war, there was an army set up in Ireland, and it was called the LDF, the Local Defence Force. And a lot of fellas joined the LDF. And if they did, it wasn't to save their country they joined it. They wouldn't save the hinhouse, a lot of them. But the way they joined the LDF was for the uniform and shoes and the fine heavy overcoat that was going with it. There was this fella, Dini was his name, and Dini joined the LDF. Dini had the overcoat on him by day, and the mother had a cross her legs in the bed by night. This day, Dini was out on manoeuvre, and when he came home, he hung up the overcoat. The mother was doing a bit of washing, and she sat a rummaging in the pocket of the overcoat to see was there any dirty hanky in it. And what did she come on in the pocket of the overcoat? Only a hand grenade. Dini, she says, where'd you get the lovely bowl? Mama, he says, that's no bowl, that's a hand grenade. And that bit of iron you have in your hand to do more harem and destruction than you could ever think of. Ah, for God's sake, Dini, she says, well, you don't be cutting me. Mama, he says, if you think I'm cutting, you come out to the back garden and I'll show you whether I'm cutting or not. Mama, he says, you see the tinny shed at the bottom of the garden? Well, it's time to get rid of the tinny shed and have an inside toilet like the rest of the neighbours. It's time to keep up with the Joneses. So he pulled the pin out of the hand grenade and threw it at the tinny shade. There was an almighty explosion. Talk about a scud missile. The corrugated roof went one way and the bucket went another way. And when the douche settled, who crawled out from under the rubble only the grandfather and I'm pulling up the trouser. And when the granddaughter saw him, she ran to him. Granda, granda, she says, are you all right? Oh, he says, I'm fine. Granda, granda, she says, what caused the awful explosion? Oh, he says, it must be something I ate. <laughs>